Hello! In this video, we will cover how to create an Exadata Cloud VM cluster on your Exadata database service on dedicated infrastructure. In the demo, I will demonstrate how to create an Exadata Cloud VM cluster resource. Let's take a look. On your OCI console, open the navigation menu under Oracle Database, click Exadata at Oracle Cloud. Click Exadata VM Clusters, then click Create Exadata VM Cluster. In the Create Exadata VM Cluster page, provide the required information to configure the VM Cluster. Let's start by selecting a compartment for the VM Cluster resource. Then provide a display name for the VM Cluster. Select the infrastructure resource that will contain the VM Cluster. Specify the number of OCPU cores you want to allocate to each of the VM cluster's virtual machine compute nodes. Configure your Exadata storage. Here you can allocate storage for Exadata sparse snapshots and allocate storage for local backups. Select Oracle Grid Infrastructure version, then add the public key portion of each key pair that you want to use for SSH access to the DB system. Next is to configure the network settings. Specify the Virtual Cloud Network or VCN in which you want to create the VM cluster. Specify the client subnet to which the VM cluster should attach. Specify the backup subnet to use for the backup network. Provide the hostname for the Exadata DB system. Then choose the type of license you want to use for the VM cluster. In the Show Advanced Options tab, you can specify the time zone for the DB system located in the Management tab. You can also assign a scan listener port the default value is 1521, and optionally apply tags under the Tags tab. Then click Create Exadata VM Cluster. The Cloud VM Cluster resource appears with the lifecycle state status of provisioning. After your VM Cluster is successfully created, the VM Cluster's icon changes from yellow to green, and lifecycle state status changes from provisioning to available. 